Carl in Annapolis, Maryland. That sounds very Navy-like. Paul, I'm considering leasing solar panels for my home and saw one of your earlier videos where you did not recommend them for good sound. Would a power regenerator solve that issue? Okay, let's, let's talk about that because I am a big advocate of alternate energy. You know, I mean, I worked on the, um, the Carbon Almanac, which with Seth Godin, I was one of the editors. I'm very big on environmental protection. I really w hope we can figure out a way to solve our climate crisis because it's not going to bother me so much, but our kids and their kids are really going to have to deal with this. And we better deal with it now if we're going to get out of here alive. So solar energy, solar power, wind, all that good stuff, totally support it. And I don't mean to come across that I don't. When it comes to hi-fi, it isn't the best source of AC power. And that's what I've been trying to say. Not that solar isn't good. Solar is great. Um, in fact, on our list, Terry and I are saving up to have solar put in our house so we can be completely off the grid. That's one of our big time goals. Here's the problem. It's not the solar power. It's the fact that you have to use a regenerator to get AC. And it's the regenerator that isn't so great for our stereo systems, okay? If you use a second regenerator, like a PS Audio power plant, then you're in good shape. All right, so let me explain. We know that, or I think we know, that when we take solar power, the sun comes down, activates a photo cell, a photoelectric cell, and it that uh, I, I don't remember how it all works, but it spins an electron off, and it generates DC. Okay, so you get you hold a photo cell up to to the light, and you it's like a battery. You get DC voltage. Well, our houses run on AC, so now we have to convert that DC to AC, and those regenerators, those AC to DC converters, typically aren't very good for what our tiniest little part of the world, the audiophile crazies, really want. They have high impedance. They have, you know, it depends on the load. They've got a couple of percent distortion, which isn't bad. I mean, normally coming out of the wall, you have a couple of percent distortion, but you have much lower impedance. And when you have a low power factor uh, load, like an amplifier, which means that the current and the voltage draw don't happen at the same time, that is very upsetting to most regenerators. When you do that, the distortion can jump to 10 or 15 percent, and not a good situation. But you can fix that by running another regenerator in series with that. So just plug into the wall. Your solar power is powering your house. It runs off a battery, whatever you're doing. And the output of that regenerator coming out of your 110 volt circuit, uh, your wall socket, then goes into a PS Audio power plant, and that fixes all of that. That will drop the impedance, it'll do all the good stuff you want. If it has high distortion, doesn't matter because the power regenerator is going to take care of it. So, long answer yes, a power regenerator, like a power plant, will fix that. But I just wanted to make clear. That it's not the solar energy, it's the type of regenerator that they use, the inverter, I think they call them inverters, that they use to convert the DC into AC. All right? All right. Thanks. Bye.